currently airing on The Bold and the Beautiful for the day of Tuesday, August 8, 2023. Steffi explains to Eric and Ridge the reasons why she left, RG lashes out at Finn, and Liam justifies his actions by stating his motivations. At the Forrester Mansion, Eric greets Steffi with a good morning, and serves her some coffee while also wishing her a happy day. She apologizes for not sleeping well and expresses her gratitude for all that he has done for her. Eric enjoys her presence immensely, although he wishes things might be different given the circumstances. He reassures her that she is secure and that she does not need to explain anything until her father gets there. Which arrives after being called by Steffi and inquires, what's up? Steffi claims that something transpired, and the end result is that she and the children will be resigning at that location for the foreseeable future. The dispute that Finn had with Steffi keeps going through his head as he is in the flip home. Archie is the one who is at the door after hearing the knock. He was on his way to Paradise Cove and decided to pop in to say hello to him. Steffi and the kids before continuing on his journey. RG is informed by Finn that they've gone in the situation. They depart. RG comes to the conclusion that she abandoned Finn after Finn mentions that she took the children and went to Eric's house. He inquires as to the reason why she would act in such a way. The response that Finn gives is because of Lyme. Wyatt explains to Lyme and Spencer publications that he can't believe that Kelly came so close to drowning while Finn was watching her, and he goes on a rage asking, why would he take his eyes off of her on the beach? Simply put, he is relieved that he was there and was able to save her. By offering some constructive criticism, Lyme stubs his sibling. Oh, no, I didn't know again. It wasn't Finn who did it. It was Sheila all along. My kid was saved by Sheila when she dragged her out of the water. RG inquires as to who rescued her. Sheila, Finn yells after her. Kelly's life was spared by my mom. At Spencer, Lyman and Wyatt are amazed by Sheila's behavior as she follows Finn shortly after the judge drops the accusations against her. Wyatt is relieved that Steffi has chosen to uproot their family and take the children with her. Lyman is in agreement. The fact that they would be secure at Eric's is the only thing that truly matters to him at this point. After giving Sheila a hug, specifically, Lion believes that Sheila will be drawn to Finn even more. Now she has decided that she would not give up on being a part of his life. It's a relief to know that he and Steffi are now on the same page. They have no intention of allowing that monstrosity to get anywhere near his family under any circumstances. Steffi has informed Ridge and Eric about the near drowning of Kelly, but she explains that this is only part of the story. They are currently at the Forester Estate. Sheila was present there. That her kid is still alive as a result of the lady who attempted to take her life along with the lives of everyone she cares about. Sheila was requested to cut some slack with Finn, who also referred to Sheila as his mother. She feels that there is a bond between them that cannot be severed in the foreseeable future. After everything that Sheila has done to her family, she is unable to live with the knowledge that she has done that. RJ, who is currently at the cliff home, can comprehend Steffi's decision to leave if it turns out that Sheila was involved in what happened to Kelly on the beach. Finn is upset that Liam is trying to end his marriage by using the knowledge that Sheila is his biological mother as leverage against him. He has a flashback of Steffi telling him that Liam informed him that he saw him hugging Sheila and videotaped it on his phone. Steffi says that Liam told her that he saw him hugging Sheila. He snarls, Liam has it out for me, as he raves against Liam. He is not going to let him get away with undermining Finn's marriage to Stephanie, despite the fact that he is doing everything in his power to do so. At Spencer, Lyon reviews the fact that Finn is unable to protect the children from Sheila as he had promised. Wyatt makes the observation that the circumstance surrounding the two of them is made more problematic by the fact that Lyon had kissed Stephanie's eyes. There was no intention on Lyon's part to end her marriage. Wyatt has some second thoughts about her leaving Finn. According to Lyon, changed now that new information has been disclosed about the case. His only concentration is on ensuring their complete safety. Wyatt believes that somewhere in his subconscious, he must have understood that this presents an opportunity, that he may be able to get back together with Stephanie. Eric apologizes to Stephanie for everything that has happened to her at the Forest Mansion and reassures her that she will be okay there. After giving her a peck on the cheek, he walks away to continue his conversation with Ridge. Steffi sighs and Ridge tells her that he is so 
was sorry before wrapping his arms around her and kissing her. Steffi is concerned about the safety of her children. Rich reassures her that everything will work out for the best and that she made the right decision by coming there. They will get through this together as a family, just as they did in the past. They take a seat, and he offers to relocate there and assist with the children. Brooke is capable of comprehension. Steffi is grateful for the offer, but she doesn't think she needs it. Rich is upset that Ben isn't keeping a close check on Kelly while they are on the beach. Steffi informs her that there is more in his mind to him than when she was released when she walked out of the courthouse. Ridge lets out a long breath before asking, what happens now? While Liam is working at Spencer, he happens to gaze at a portrait of Kelly and immediately starts frowning. He searches the cupboard and pulls out a framed photograph of himself, Steffi and Kelly. He then places the photograph on display in the room. A booming voice belonging to Finn says, I know what you're doing. Liam comes around and says that he is watching out for his daughter and Steffi because he is unable to do so himself. Nobody is more upset about the fact that Kelly came so close to drowning than Finn is, and he is. Lyman inquires as to whether or not he ought to feel thankfulness for his psychotic mother for the fact that she saved him. It is brought to Kelly's attention by Finn that his mother is the only reason she is still alive. Lyman inquires as to whether or not he can hear himself right now. The woman shines. She murdered your wife, but you continue to stand by her side in the bedroom. You're going so far as to physically embrace her. Finn utters the phrase, there it is. Liam is confronted by Finn in the office while the door is shut, and Finn says, You took that video, and you didn't come and confront me about it. No. You rushed up to Steffi and displayed it in front of me, didn't you, you little kid? I am aware of what you seek, Liam. Liam is eager for Steffi to be fully informed about everything. Finn laughs dismissively and says, That's not the only reason. We are both aware of the fact. Even though your marriage to hope is dissolving, that does not give me the right to cycle back around and make a move for my wife. Regards to everyone, although Liam insists that he is handling everything on his own. Finn is adamant that he and Steffi are dedicated to one another and will come out on the other side of this together. He screams at the top of his lungs, you think you have this, in with her and his sister, and you exploit that. However, that's all there is to it, Liam. This topic dates back to a tickle. 